Okay. Okay, the last um, sexual process we're going to look at is conjugation. Conjugation is supposed to be easy for you, but I mean, the process itself would be easy for you. The only problem will be when, when, when I ask you about the, the products of the conjugation. Now, conjugation, like the sexual reproduction we are aware of, requires cell-to-cell -cell contact, not fusion of cells, but that the cells should lie close to each other. Now, in conjugation, the following may happen. One, a plasmid can be transferred. Two, you can there can be a transfer of a large segment uh, of chromosomal uh, DNA. But seldom do you have the whole chromosome being transferred because, as you saw, that DNA is very big. And normally when uh, individuals are going through conjugation and you disturb them, they separate and Whatever has gone across will have gone across, but you will have disrupted the union. So in, in, in conjugation, we'll be seeing that what happens when we get a disruption. Note the following. Transformation, which is the first one we did, and transduction, which is the second one we did, will transfer small segments of DNA. Uh, transduction, because we're dealing with a virus, which is much smaller than a bacterium. Transformation, also because we are dealing with a broken up chromosomal DNA, and therefore we're again dealing with small fragments. Okay. Um, let us look at before I, I talk about this, let us look at the cell. This is the bacterial cell. We have in red chromosomal DNA, and in blue, we also have DNA, but this, because it is outside of the chromosome, we call it extra chromosomal DNA, the one we call the F factor, the one we call the plasmid, the one we also call the fertility factor. Now, what what inform because this is DNA, what information do we have on a plasmid? The plasmid, when we say what information, we say what does it code for? When we say what does it code for, I mean what information does it carry? One. A plasmid carries information for self-replication. That means a plasmid can replicate itself without involving chromosomal DNA. Two, it, it codes for extra chromosomal existence. That means the plasmid has information to decide to stay outside of the chromosome. And three, the the plasmid is known as a fertility factor because it synthesizes the sex pillars, which is the channel through which the DNA will be transferred. So it is not a mistake that you see the, the, the sex pillars here and not here. That means it originates from this cell. So if we wanted to equate it to ourselves, we'll be, talk, we'll be thinking that this is male and that is female. Think about that way, but it is not. We call this F plus and we call this F minus. Or call it a donor and call that one a recipient. Okay, so what are the stages that this thing will go through? Please note, this one is not as uh, twisted. It's not twisted at all, but this one is twisted. Actually, here the, the twists are so few so that we 
we, we can appreciate what it looks like. But knowing the size. Now, in stage two, we can see that the pilus has been used to join this these two cells, the donor and the recipient, the F plus and the F minus. Now, look at the length of the pilus. And here, we can see that the pilus has contracted such that these two are as close to each other as possible. We want the channel to be to 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 be short so that transfer can be can be faster. Remember, I said in the pl plasmid we have um, a code for self transfer. I guess this transferosome in in indicates that this will be transferred starting from here. Please note, in, in life, things don't just happen haphazardly. They, they, they are designated places. So this transfer will start here, and this wheel will roll this way. And as it rolls this way, then one strand will go into this cell, and the other strand remains in this cell. And considering the Watson and Creek model, we realize that the one strand here will form a circle. The one strand here will form a circle. And these strands being used as templates, we will have exactly a plasmid that looks like this. So now, here is the magic. This cell has the plasmid intact. And now this one has also got an intact plasmid. So now, they are both F cells. Why are we still why are we not calling this one a recipient? Because now it also has a, a plasmid which it can donate. So it is a new donor. All right. So when an F plus mates with an F minus, we end up with two F plus cells. There is no recombination here. So, no, not that there is no recombination. If there is any recombination at all, it will be at a very low frequency. I've written it here. We have a high rate of transfer of the plasmid. The chromosomal genes can be transferred along with the F plasmid, but this is very, very rare. It's one in 10 million. Therefore, we say there's a low rate of recombination. Okay. I want to introduce you to another cell, which we call an HFR cell. Um, an HFR cell. This HFR means high frequency. High frequency of what? We'll see it later on. This HFR is a special donor cell. And in this cell, we have, if, if you have done your chemistry, you know what these signs mean. This means this is a reversible reaction. You have an F+. plus. And the F plus gives us an HFR, and the HFR can give us an F plus. So what will have happened? I will show you that the plasmid, which we saw here in the F plus, can drop or can be integrated into the chromosomal DNA. And when this is inside the chromosomal DNA, you'll see, in this case, uh, gray, then w this is no longer just chromosomal and it is not plasmid. This cell we, we will call an HFR. So that cell will be called an HFR. Now this is the cell that interests us because it will have a high frequency of transferring chromosomal DNA. 
Okay, we will see how this happens shortly. Um, we had just finished an F plus and F minus mating, and now I would like to show you some of the, the, the things that you will find in your book. You will find this slide, and this slide is explaining all I was uh, uh, telling you about, and uh, this being the F plus and that being the F minus, that, and it give, it's giving you step-by-step -step explanation and telling you that at the end, you will have two uh, bacterial cells, which are both F plus. So this F plus, the new strand is, in, is the outside strand, and this, this F plus, the new strand is the inside uh, strand. So the solid one is the one that was there, the one that was used as the, as the template. Please, this is not here just for fun. You will have bought this. Please try and use it. But every time you go through this, what you have to ask you when we're doing transduction, what is happening to the transfer of the plasmid? One. Two, what is, what do we have any recombination? I told you that in this um, scenario, we have a high transfer of the F factor very low transfer of the chromosomal DNA, and therefore we have a very low um, rate of recombination. So F plus, F minus mating is mainly high rate of transfer of the plasmid. Okay. Then I told you about the HFR. When I said there is a, it looks reversible. And uh, an HFR is actually an F plus. We have the chromosomal, we have the plasmid. This is incorporated into that one. Then we have an HFR. That red part is showing you the plasmid inside. So you can have an HFR and it goes that way. Please note, when this plasmid enters here, it comes in with all its... Uh, information so that transferosome or that a point of um, movement transferring to the other cell is still there. So let's look at this HFR. This is where the plasmid is, the red part. Now, somewhere in this red part, there is that information where the plasmid says, I should be able to be transferred to the next cell without consulting chromosomal DNA. Unfortunately, because it was circular and now it is linear, that information is somewhere in the middle of the line such that when the, the, the plasmid, one plasmid strand moves to the other side, it doesn't carry the whole plasmid. A bit of it remains here. It only carries a little bit of it in front. It's part of the F plasmid. It is carried to the front. But in, in its effort to move itself to the next cell, it is pulling chromosomal DNA. And I told you that if this mating is disturbed or interrupted, what we will end up having is that the whole of this chromosomal DNA is not, has not been transferred. A whole of the plasmid has not been transferred because a bit of it is at the end. The bit of it is in front. The other bit is at the end. So the plasmid is not complete. The chromosome is not complete. Here we have the end product. We have part of the plasmid here. Then we have this strand which is chromosoma. Please note, the chromosomes here are capital letters. The chromosomes here are small letters. So this is what is going to happen. The ABC will find homology. It will align at the homologous site, as you can see here. This will be inserted. And because the plasmid does not have homology, 
it cannot enter into you. So it will be degraded. Now, once this has entered, now you realize this chromosome here, except for that plasmid piece there, this is all capital letter. This is half capital letter, half small letter. The initial one was all small letter. So this is a new creation, hence we call it a recombinant. That small piece of plasmid that entered here is not enough to give us a plasmid, so this remains as an F minus. Now, the beauty of having an HFR, for us who are interested in the change in gene sequence, is the fact that that trans transferring gene which is on the plasmid pulls the chromosomal DNA and we end up with a new creation which is the recombinant. So what are the end products of this? The end products, please read the bits I left on the side. And then HFR F minus cross, the frequency of gene recombination is high but the transfer of the F plasmid itself is very low. So this gives us an inverse or the opposite of what we got when we were, trans when we were doing an, an F plus, F minus. I just want to go back and see if, um, oh, I, I, I didn't. I was, I was hoping to, to see if, the F plus, the F plus, F minus recombination results. Okay, I cut off the explanation, but the results here are just the opposite of the results here, if you read over here. By the way, this was taken from a book which is in your reading list, and it is Perksa. You don't have to buy it, but you can use it for reference, okay. Everything else which is in here has been mentioned verbally. And all you have to do, I said, I am not asking you, I am forcing you, and I'm forcing you again to please copy the things that I've written with my own handwriting and to illustrate Use any of the illustrations. You are not forced to use the ones I made by hand. Use any which you think you can uh, reproduce to explain. So when I ask you about transformation, you must know the experiment. You must know the results. You must know the post-mortem. What, what did they find when they took out the blood from the injected rats, what did they find? Okay, and you should explain why things were like that. That's one. When it comes to transduction, be very clear about which of the products of viral replication are we interested in, who are interested in the transducing phage, and what is the rate of production of the transducing phage page in the generalized and the specific cycle. <clears throat> you must know that. Three, when it comes to this, know what the plasmid, the plasmid codes for and know the results of the mating of F plus, F plus, F minus, uh, HFR with F minus. You have been given uh, a summary of some of these ma ma matings at the very end of this presentation. I want you to be curious. These are some of the diagrams that you should look at, try to explain what, what is going on. But there is a very nice summary at the end, which you should look at. And I'll ask you right now, I never said anything about F prime, but I, I reserve the right to ask you what an F prime is. Explain it the best way 
you understand. But please read through everything. Here are beautiful diagrams that summarize most of the things or almost everything that happens in conjugation. Um, I wish you the best in all your endeavors. Please start working now. We have come to the end of bacteria. You should be able to answer any question which you find in the exam about bacteria. Again, go to the library, ask those who have gone before you, and do the best you can. I'm available. I mean, uh, my office is S2.0, whatever. But since we'll be seeing each other on WhatsApp, please talk to me on that WhatsApp group, which I hope you will create. Okay. Thank you. Next, we will talk about fungi. Okay. I've just said that we have come to the end of bacteria. And if you think that this is a lot of material, it is one of the smaller ones. We are going to do fungi next. And that one is a very big uh, area. Uh, it, that doesn't mean that uh, fungi are bigger than, well, they are bigger than bacteria. But the main, the main reason is that everybody has got a, a passion in life. You are in trouble because your instructor has a passion for fungi. So when I try to trim down fungi, I find there's nothing I want to leave behind. I tell you as much of fungi as I like to tell you, or even more if you, if you continue to ask me. Um, algae will just be as big. So the two topics that are small is bacteria, and which is the first one, and the last one, which is bryophytes. Fungi and algae will be very big. And in the exam, you cannot say, I will leave this out. The, the exam will be sectioned. You must answer a question. From, from bacteria, you must answer a question from fungi, a question from algae, and a question from bryophytes. So please, I beg you, do not leave these notes in your machine or your, your, your phone or whatever. Have a notebook because when it comes to preparing for exams, Going through the amount of slides you have gone through will just not be doable. So please make notes. Notes means the things that will make you remember the way you think you can best explain something. The exam is not true or false, yes or no. The exam is explain, draw, discuss. So put that in your mind as you go through the course. I hope you enjoy it as much as I have.